Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a nice holiday. In today's video, I will show you how I designed my year-end spreads, 2021 setup, and January setup. The first spread here is V's birthday page. I just winged this page, but I'm happy with how it turned out. As he was the one who coined the phrase, I purple you, I was really happy to go all out with the purple shades on this page. Purple is my favorite color in case you didn't know. So to fill up the page, I added a section of my wishes for his birthday and a section for the things that I love about him. This next page is for my what happened in 2020 spread. I wouldn't call it a highlights page since there are some sad moments in there, but overall I loved how this one turned out. My favorite is of course the purple BTS box that you can see me creating. BTS had had a big year in 2020, so I thought I'd list some of them here. I also really fell in love with journaling in 2020, so I wanted to have a special section for it. And as for music, I'm happy that 2020 did not stop me from improving my voice and learning how to play the guitar. And then finally, the big box to the right, I reserved for general events that didn't fit into a category like meeting my new friend Yasi, John Cena following me on Twitter, and my newfound love for Taro Smoothie with Boba. And then since there was an extra space left in the corner, I wrote a quote that said, although 2020 was challenging, I still managed to have a great year. So here's a quick overview of my year-end spreads. I'm really happy and a little bit surprised at how well these two pages turned out. To start my 2021 setup, I decided to participate in the Word of the Year challenge that Notebook Therapy posted on Instagram. My Word of the Year is diligence. I wanted to inspire myself to grow up and get things done by being diligent at everything I do. I found that I wasted a lot of time in 2020, so I wanted to change that for 2021. The little spaceship is a symbol of me taking off towards my goals. And then I also added some washi tape for decoration. The next page is for my goals, trackers, and wish list. I got my first set of zebra mild liners for Christmas and I'm still learning to use them. As you can see here, I messed up thinking I can erase what's underneath the mild liner and ended up ripping a little bit of the page, so I covered it up. Also for Christmas, I gifted myself a bathroom scale. I decided I'll weigh myself twice a month to track my progress. Also, I found exercising improves my sleep and makes me feel strong and capable. So in 2020, I found I spent way too much on BTS and I felt bad, to be honest. So I created this tracker to hopefully limit my purchases. The final 2021 setup is my monthly highlights page. I thought this would make it so much easier to look back on at the end of the year instead of flipping through the entire year and trying to read every single entry. And then I also created a songs to learn section since there was some extra space. Here's a quick overview of my 2021 setup. Apart from the word of the year page, I chose the colors yellow and gray since they're apparently the Pantone colors of the year. Finally, it's time for my January spread. I decided to recreate Amanda Rachley's February 2020 setup inspired by the Netflix program to all the boys I've loved before. This had been the most doodle heavy month so far. Please leave me a comment letting me know that I did a good job with the doodles. I really love the color scheme for this month. I enjoyed the scrapbook style of this theme, but as usual, I still managed to mess it up. I didn't like the hot pink lines at the top since they failed to imitate a washi tape, so I decided to cover it up with a real washi tape. But I still wasn't happy with it, so I ended up using a whiteout and then covered it up with the tape again. The next page is my calendar and habit tracker page. Did I mention I love this color scheme? I'm still getting used to doodling all over the page, but hopefully this page looks alright. I really like the calendar from December, so I decided to do it again for January. For the habit tracker, I decided to just draw the shape of the month's calendar, and then I'll color in the days that I performed the habit. I left one unknown tracker since I haven't figured out what else I want to track in the new year. Finally, it's time for my first weekly spread. Spoiler alert! I messed up the dates on this page, so you'll see me fix it later on. Since December and January meet in the same week, I thought I'd go ahead and include the remaining days in December in my January spreads. 
I wanted to make this spread look like I'm writing each day a little note and then my gratitudes will be in the thank you note section at the bottom of the page. And now here I am fixing the dates. I'd like to think they're like little clouds on the page. Here's the final overview of my January setup. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And everyone, please stay safe and I hope you have a happy, happy new year. Goodbye!